Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We finally got this one done. 2021 Hit Parade autographed, officially licensed baseball jerseys. Five box. Uh, it was a half case break. We're doing the second half right here. Random team break number two. A lot of people sleeping on this jersey break, but hopefully we'll show them why. Now, we also did a little promo here. We took out five spots, and we're going to give them away to people who bought spots in this break. So let's copy that list. There's some new dice, different dice roll from the names and teams. So from this list, the top five will win an extra spot, a bonus spot each. So thank you very much, everybody who bought the full spots. Appreciate it. Stephen K, what's going on? Thank you as well. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Five and a one, six times. Top five after six. One, two, three, four five and sixth and final time so after six now thanks everyone here from six on down for giving this a shot i appreciate it congrats to the top five stephen k jake edwin josh and josh josh with two extra spots right there so congrats to you now don't worry everyone else you're still in the break you can still get uh still, could still get a really nice jersey all right so let's put those rooftops next to your name so you know that you won those spots. So now we can grab everyone's names. Should be 30. We'll get them in here. There's everyone's name. There's the teams. Let's roll it and randomize it. Five and a one. Again, six times. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, and on one, sixth and final time. After six, we got Josh down to Wesley. <laughs> Don't worry, Adam S. You're still in the break. Five and a one, six times. If you get randomized to the right team, and if the boxes cooperate with you, finishing six will be a distant memory. Three, four, five. And sixth and final time. After six, we got the Orioles all the way down to the Twins. Jason Tatum at 50 points. It's hashtag good for the hobby. All right, here's how it shakes out. Josh with the Orioles, Zane with the Phillies, Stephen K with the Astros, Eric with the Yankees, Stephen K with the A's, Kyle with the Mets, Jake, you got my Dodgers, Jake Johnson with the Indians, Josh with the Red Sox, Rangers and Padres, Brian with the Diamondbacks, Jake with the Rockies, Adam with the Nats, Wes with the Royals, David with the Braves, Daniel O, Dano with the Brewers and the Blue Jays, Zane with the Marlins, Last Bob Mojo star next to your name, Ron with the Pirates, Edwin with the Tigers, Aaron with the Angels, Edwin with the Rays, Brady with the Giants, Aaron Pettit with the Reds, Jake with the Mariners, Dano with the White Sox, Aaron with the Cardinals, Charles with the Cubs, and Wesley with the Minnesota Twins. Let's get all this on one screen, alphabetized by team. All right, and we're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, and then I'll have the break. Stick around, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. So that list remains the same. Yeah, Stephen K is ready for one of the best quiz shows on the planet. The old Who Am I, where I give you the clues and you give me the name. You, you give me who I am. All right, so remember we marked all of these RT2 from the last break so we know they're from the same case. This is Jersey 99 out of 100. There it is, officially licensed edition. I'm actually going to turn off that top camera so I don't accidentally give away the, uh, the jersey too early. All right, okay. I know the team. Who are you? Oh, I think I know who you are. Let me just double check the label right here. All right.
All right. Who am I? 25-year-old left-handed baseball player. First round pick, 11th overall in my draft class from Southern California. Currently hitting 241, couple home runs, 35 hits, 15 RBIs. Last season, I was 13th in MVP voting, by the way, hitting 316 in the shortened season, 316, 10 home runs, 42 RBIs. It's pretty good. This year might be my first full season, I think. I'm already playing 41 games. Anyhow, uh, lefty first baseman, Rizzo, not 25 years old, Rex. Um, let's see what else I can give you without giving this away too early. Well, I, first round pick, 11th overall back in the 20, don't look, back in the 2013 MLB baseball draft. I'll give you the players around him. So this was the this was the Mark Appel draft. So it was Mark Appel one, Chris Bryant two, John Gray, Cole Stewart, Clint Frazier, Colin Moran, Trey Ball, Hunter Dozier, Austin Meadows, Phil Bigford, then this player, then DJ Peterson, Hunter Renfro, Reese McGuire, Braden Shipley, JP Crawford, Tim Anderson, so on and so forth. So picked after Austin Meadows, before Tim Anderson by a number of picks. Anyone remember that draft class, 11th overall? Left-handed first baseman or left fielder? Drafted right out of high school, too. Any guesses? National League. National League East. I think Trey Turner not in this draft class. I think Trey Turner... Trey Turner was the year after. 2014 MLB draft. Left-handed hitting first baseman in the in the NL East. Name your first baseman in the NL East. Well, he plays a little outfield too. Did he play today? <laughs> Dano cheated, but he's not going to give it away. No, his his game was canceled today. Yeah, first name letter D. I guess he's he's been out with a knee contusion the last couple of games. He's on the Mets. Name your Mets backup first baseman, your DH, and left fielder. I guess the first base kind of kind of made it a little more confusing. I guess he's played mostly outfield. He'll he'll back up the Mets first baseman. No, we got to guess it. There you go, Jake. I see you, Dominic Smith. Sorry, I should have said outfielder. Pete Alonso's at first. But he's on the 10-day IL, so Dominic Smith's been playing a little bit at first. Not a bad player here. He's, he's definitely got some upside. So there's his autograph. There's all the... In fact, I'm, these are authentic. These are officially licensed jerseys, so it's worth pulling out and showing everybody. There it is. The Mets colors, the MLB logo. There's autograph right on the middle of that number. Got 
the big Mets logo up front. We've got the Nike logo right there too. The tags. You know, jersey itself, hundred bucks. Nice. All right, so I'll, I'll fold these up nicely after the break. That's going to go to the Mets. Who has the Mets? That'll be Kyle Pace. There you go, Kyle. Thanks for getting, I think Kyle bought the first spot, so I appreciate your patience on that. It took a minute or two. Breaks usually don't take this long, but... But thank you, and congrats. All right. <laughs> Adam saying, Ray saying this was the, that was the most depressing round of Who Am I? I know no one was really guessing. They weren't. They didn't have their thinking caps on. <laughs> Ryan Golden, what's going on, sir? How's it going? All right. All right. Round two. Who am I? Maybe, maybe people need need a little coffee. Baseball, baseball isn't. All right, maybe this one will be uh, a little easier. Ooh, he's got all sorts of inscriptions on here. All right, old school baseball player. You got to keep old school baseball player in mind. I think he's still with us. He's quite, he's quite old. Yeah, I am 88 years old. Currently 88 years old. Be 89 in October. Have a lifetime 281 batting average. 2,134 hits. Only 21. Only 20 home runs. 458 runs batted in. But 586 career stolen bases. Played for three teams my entire career. Seven-time All-Star, three-time World Series champion on, on with the same team, my original team. Two-time Gold Glover and NL MVP in 1962. Try to use your thinking cap. Don't look up 1962 NL MVP. And six-time NL stolen base leader. I'm pretty sure I was the stolen base leader be, before... Um, Lou Brock. So I think Lou Brock probably started breaking a lot of my stolen base records. I'm pretty sure. Who am I? Uh, Oliver isn't here in LA. That doesn't count. <laughs> now Adam's got it too. No, not Ricky. Not Ricky Henderson. He hasn't hit 88 just yet. But Maury will still kick in. I think he still comes out to like spring training. I don't think he's as active of a, of a base coach anymore, but Maury Wills still shows up on spring training sometimes. There he is. There's the inscription. Won those three with the Dodgers. There's the 1962 NLMVP. Who did he beat out for the NLMVP? Maury Wills and Bunk, Bunk Wills, right? Isn't that like his... Doesn't he have like a son or a brother in baseball too? I don't that I don't know. I feel like Maury and Bump were like, or is it the same person? Maury and Bump. Do you have a different name, like a nickname? I don't see nicknames. No, father of Bump Wills. Oh man, what a pull, Teddy! And Bump Wills had a famous error card. Like nice. Wow, yeah, top. Bump Wills is. Uh, Bump Wills played for like six seasons with the Rangers in the seventies, late seventies, early. Third place rookie of the year for Bump Wills. Look at that, Teddy with a what a pull, Teddy. Okay, that 1962 MVP year, let me pull this out too. He beat out Willie Mays and Tommy Davis and Frank Robinson for the MVP. Nice. Love the, uh, the beautiful blue numbers on the back and the red numbers on the front. I actually don't know the history behind that, but why they did that but there you go there, there's the 
Majestic logo on the sleeve. Right there, you still have the retail tags on there with the MLB logo man on the back. It's pretty awesome. Vince Scully would always tell a story whenever Maury Wills came up. He would tell the story maybe once a year, once a season, I think, he'd tell, he'll tell the story. Dodgers, by the way, is Jake Reams with the Dodgers. He would tell the story about how on a quiet day in L.A., on a Sunday, like in downtown L.A., if you listen carefully, you can hear the crowd chanting, Maury, Maury, and then that way you would know that he was on first base and they were encouraging him to steal. Which I can believe. Back in back back in the day, downtown LA on a Sunday was probably a lot quieter than it is these days. All right, Jake Reams, thank you very much, little Dodger Joe Mojo. Well, Teddy was saying that Maury Wills is Maury Wills has a son, Bump Wills, who is in the majors for a handful of seasons, and apparently he has a famous error card, which will which we'll have to look up maybe after this break. All right, don't worry, Adam. You've got three more chances to make an educated guess. All right, this is a nice jersey. Teddy looked it up. 1979 tops. Bump Wills. So there was a card. I guess he had the wrong team. He was a Ranger, but he... Once opening day rolled around, he realized no trade was going to take place. Top decided to correct the error and release a revised card. Did they even re release an update card? Wow, that's kind of funny. All right. Third baseman... Second baseman, switch hitter, active, in the AL. Currently, am hitting. I'm having a pretty good season so far. I currently am hitting 274 with a few home runs, 26 RBIs, 2.2 wins above replacement. That's pretty good. 800 OPS. Having a pretty strong season. Who am I? I've got a lifetime 262 average, 59 home runs, 213 RBIs. Was traded from the Red Sox to my current team. Maybe in the Chris Sale deal. Who am I? Yeah, there you go. Dano and Adams God. Not Ben and Oliver. Yoan Mankata. So one of the one of the guys who that was the Chris Sale deal, right? All right. So you got the uh, Fanatics card right there. Love that. Kind of did. I, I think there was a lot of, of outrage about the Nike logo right there on the jersey, but I think it kind of looks sharp, especially on this Sox jersey. Really like the patch there. Nice looking jersey. All the retail tags are there. Pretty great stuff. There you go. White Sox is gonna go to Dano. There you go, Dan. 
And I'll fold this jersey nicely after, after the break. Let's move on to the next jersey. my pen for a second. All right, there you go, Dan. Thanks for getting in. what Teddy pulled in the, that contender's draft picks break. You can do more of that tonight, too. Pretty nice, right? You got it, Nice. All right. Two more to go. Two more rounds of Who Am I? If you, if you get correctly guess the player, you've got the bragging rights. You can tell people, hey, I want a round. You can tell your friends. Call up your buddy. Call up your friends. Call up a significant other and be like, you know what I did today? I won a round of Who Am I? What did you do? Oh, nothing? All right, I'm, I'm, winning, I'm winning online quizzes, and you're not doing anything. So, all right. So, yeah. All right, Who Am I? I'm also having a great season. This might give it away right away. I've got an, uh, so far this season, I'm hitting 333 with 16 home runs and 41 RBIs. Is this a, am I embarking on an MVP campaign? It feels like it. It feels like it. My uncle played, uh, played baseball. My uncle played baseball in the majors. My uncle is Wilton. This is my third year in the MLB. Is my nickname LK? I guess it's LK. Dano and EJC saying Vlad. Not Vlad Sr. He's played more than three seasons. In the, in, major, in the Major League Baseball. No, it's Vlad Guerrero Jr. I know what you guys meant. I know what you meant. Vlad Jr. There's the number 27. There's his autograph. Let's pull this jersey out. <laughs> Vlad Jr. I know you played. Um, yeah, Wilton Guerrero. And, of course, uh, Vladimir Guerrero Sr. Are... Uh, brothers and Blue Jays is that you again Dan yeah Dan two jerseys for you yeah one of my favorite logos the bluebird there's the auto there's the JSA Nice. And there's the majestic tags. It's an XL. Got the Blue Jays right up front. The trim is really cool. Majestic jersey right here. Yeah, nice clean looking Blue Jays jersey. I love how they do the numbers too. The white stripe in the number. That's that's pre that's pretty iconic, I would say. All right, Dano, congrats on another one. All 
Last one. Well, I, I'm loving these officially licensed jerseys. Too often we'll do jersey breaks, and they're usually custom jerseys, which are which are nice, I guess. Probably a little bit easier for framing, but to see an officially licensed jersey is really cool. To get all the logos, all the team names, and everything. All right. Last one. Good luck. Thank you, everybody, for making this happen. I appreciate it. The Clippers are making a game of this. 86-84. With a few minutes left in the third. Should be a good fourth quarter. All right. Final one. Who am I? All right, who am I? I'm a retired baseball player, but I'm looking like I could, I can, I can still play. I've got a Cy Young Award, a World Series, an ALCS MVP. I'm a six-time All-Star. Played for 19 seasons. I've got a career, 374 ERA, 251 wins. I feel like I'm going to be one of the last guys who are going to have 200 plus wins, just because. So many teams go to the bullpen so much more earlier these days. I might be one of the last guys hitting, among the last guys hitting that 200 plus win plateau there. I've got a career 3,993 3 strikeouts and a career 62.6 .6 war. Played for three teams my entire career. And yeah, recent social media pictures. He kind of looks like better than his playing shape days. Hit, hitting, hitting dingers in Central Park? Not Randy Johnson, not big sexy Bartolo Colon, but EJC and Ryan Harold have it. CC Sabathia. Played for 11 seasons with the Yankees, eight seasons with Cleveland, a season with Milwaukee. Do you see him hitting dingers in Central Park? <laughs> nice. There's his auto. There's all the MLB hologram sticker stuff. Right. No names on the back. Right. It's the Yankees jersey. Nike jersey. There's the big Yankees logo right there. He's got a. He's got a. I want to say he's got a decent podcast too. I've. I've. I think he uploads them to YouTube as well. I think I've watched a couple episodes that are pretty good. I haven't really had time to listen to any more than that, but. All right, so let me just carefully put this over here. All right, so the Yankees, that's going to go to Eric. Eric Reed with the New York Yankees, the Bronx Bombers. And that's it. Five box, random team break number two of Hit Parade's officially licensed autographed baseball jerseys in the books. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.